Hi, and welcome to Walter's Camera Review. One of my passions is making film and making film on a budget and making film that makes money. Okay, so we're going to review some of these cameras and I'm going to tell you why I've gone with these choices. Um, if you need to start your movie making dream, a lot of people wait until they can afford a single $5,000 item and then find out later that they've lost interest. Okay, So another thing too is having a very expensive item going out and having it damaged or something like that. So you don't have to take out a loan or a big mortgage to make your first films. Um, if people find you attractive enough and your, your storyline's good enough, um, you can go with a, a lower budget quality of camera. But in today's world, you can get a high definition camera for very, very cheap. I'm just gonna show you a couple of different versions of a high def camera. Okay, this is a JVC. Okay, it runs on a mini DV tape. And at this time, mini DV tape is slowly becoming a less popular format. I'd almost have to say that it's on the way out um, because you have a physical mini DV tape. Uh, the great thing about a mini DV tape is you can store your data, you can recompress it into almost any format at a later day. It's pure analog. So a few years ago, a camera this size used to cost eight or nine hundred dollars. These are available now for roughly under a hundred bucks. But the tape prices are getting more expensive because they're less popular. Okay, now this puts out at a higher quality format than a full three chip camera was putting out three years ago. These cost under a hundred bucks. The great thing is, is it's got a flip screen so you can see and watch yourself through your own monitor. As you can see, you can observe yourself here. Okay. This camera is not waterproof, but it's under a hundred dollars and I've made some great movies with it. Okay. Now, the other thing about buying cheaper cameras is you can shoot multiple tracks. This is a brand new Fuji Waterproof XP10. It is an amazing camera. The quality that comes out of this is just fantastic. So I'm a big fan of the Fuji XP10. They go for under $200. Um, they do have a drawback. They don't have the flip screen, so you can't monitor yourself while you're filming. Um, so again, you can go for a, a couple of these. For $89 or you can buy one of these. It's waterproof, um, shoots in high def. This is the Xacti Cam. Um, this is a little bit more money, it's roughly $400. The equivalent to the XP10, it's made by Sanyo. Um, it's got some, some great qualities, it's also waterproof, um, but again it's almost $400. Um, if you're really under a low budget and you want to make a good movie, and you can make some good movies that'll get you tons of hits, this is the uh, the flip cam. This particular brand of flip cam is made by Curtis, and you can get these for under 40 bucks. So if you want to start storyboarding your movie, it's a lot better to have a couple of these around to start storyboarding than packing a $5,000 full full length feature film camera. Uh, my favorite pick of the year, and I change my pick of the year every year because I upgrade is the Canon Vixia. They used to come out with a mini DV tape, which I can still see a lot of uh, merit and value to. I love the DV tape for its reliability because I've lost some footage with this Canon Vixia and the traditional SD card. Um, if you have a power outage or something like that, you can actually lose your data. So if you're gonna film something, it's good to bring along a DV cam just so you've got backup. Okay, so the Canon Vixia puts out at a whopping 1900 frame size, which is full broadcast HD. It's a phenomenal camera. Um, it's a resource pig, so you might want to dummy it down a little bit if you're doing simple things like YouTube, but if you plan on going to full production, it's fully HD capable. A phenomenal camera. They used to cost around 1200 Now they're down below the $500 price range, and phenomenal. They've got all of Canon's quality tools. It's a great camera. 
Um, Sony's got a version of this out now too. There's a couple of them in HD cameras and Sony puts out a beautiful camera as well. I'm always torn between um, the Canon camera and the Sony camera. But these new other JVC, Insignia, Sanyo and the Fuji X-P10, they've all got amazing qualities as well. So I've gone out and for the price, I can make a couple hundred dollars from a movie shooting one of my films. Then I'll just take that money and I'll reinvest it into a new camera. And the also the other great thing about having multiple cameras is I can go with multiple formats for my Mac, um, for my PC, because it's great to be multi-platform. And also with this many cheaper cameras, I can go with multiple frames. So I can have an overhead camera and I can have a below camera one pointing above, one to my left, one to my right. So I've got multiple frame actions rather than just one gigantic camera that I have to reposition all the time. I can just turn all these on, walk away, shoot, and then re-edit. So this is part of my dream. Um, one of the software packages I want to write is called Street City Survivor where people take a camera out and they go shoot the most incredible footage they can. Maybe it's a, the next uh, hot model or the next karaoke superstar, but they get it up and they go viral. I'm a big fan of getting movies viral. And that means that you've got a huge network, people enjoy your movies, and uh, they wanna see you go viral and they help you win contests. There's many, many viral contests out there, some ranging between $50,000, some ranging between um, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars was the most recent Dorito commercial and that was done with uh, young film students and I really love film students that believe in a dream so um, we're gonna be carrying on with this a little bit and we're gonna do an individual camera review so you've got the best choice I can't complain about any single one of these cameras again having a little bit higher of a budget the Canon Vixia is my favorite but as alternate backup cameras um, and buying good lighting, maybe I would sacrifice uh, um, two Canon Vixias for a couple of sets of lights and then using some of these cheaper cameras or maybe invest in costume or, or advertising. So that's my take on uh, these and we'll be doing a camera, camera review of each one of these cameras individually. Currently what I'm shooting on right now is a Kodak ZI-1, which is also an HD camera. It's a little choppy, a little shaky. I like the bigger cameras, but this is still a high def camera and I'm pretty happy with the quality. And thanks for joining. We'll be updating you further.